here in the i button and in the description box below you will get the complete playlist of multiple integrals welcome to video number 24 and in this particular video we are going to evaluate these three okay and this problem is very 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 important because we are going to learn a lot from this okay so first we need to evaluate gamma of 1 upon 4 into gamma of 3 upon 4 then we will evaluate this that is gamma of minus 3 upon 2 and at the last we will evaluate this that is beta of 9 upon 2 comma 7 upon 2 so let us start one by one so solving first part that is gamma of 1 upon 4 into gamma of 3 upon 4 in the previous video we have gone through one important result that is in video number 23 we achieved this that is that is we are going to use that in this problem okay to solve this we know that gamma of n into gamma of 1 minus n is equals to pi times sin n pi okay where we can use this formula or important result when this plus this equals to 1 okay when this plus this equals to 1 then only we can use this important result here you can see 1 upon 4 plus 3 upon 4 the result is 1 so we can use this formula so we can write that is therefore we can say gamma of 1 upon 4 into gamma of 3 upon 4 which can be written as in this form that is gamma of 1 upon 4 into gamma of 1 minus 1 upon 4 okay so on comparing this you will get n equals to 1 upon 4 so here we can say here n equals to 1 upon 4 so we can say therefore gamma of 1 upon 4 into gamma of 3 upon 4 is equals to this that is pi upon sin n pi okay what is the value of n that is 1 upon 4 so we can write this as what pi upon sin 1 upon 4 into pi that is pi upon 4 pi upon 4 means 45 degree so sin 45 is 1 upon root 2 so pi upon 1 upon root 2 we can take this root 2 here that is pi times root 2 and this is the final answer okay this is the answer for this first part so i hope this part is very much clear to you now coming to the second part that is find minus of sorry gamma of minus 3 upon 2 solving this that is gamma of minus 3 upon 2 okay since we know that gamma of n is equals to gamma of n plus 1 upon n where can we use this formula when you will find a negative sign okay with this 2 in the denominator part okay so here if we put n equals to minus 3 upon 2 this will be gamma of minus 3 upon 2 this is equals to gamma of n plus 1 that is minus 3 upon 2 plus 1 upon n that is minus 3 upon 2 okay so minus 3 upon 2 means minus 1.5 plus 1 that is minus 0.5 so we can write this as minus half upon minus 3 upon 2 let's suppose this is my equation 1 now we will find this part because here again we have negative sign okay we know gamma of half is root pi but we do not know the value of gamma of minus half so we will find this now gamma of minus half is equals to gamma of minus half plus 1 upon minus half so this is gamma of half this is gamma of half upon minus 1 upon 2 so we can take this negative sign here and we can take this 2 here so this is going to be and what is gamma of half that is root pi so we can write this as minus 2 root pi okay this is this is root pi and here we have minus 2 we we can take this negative here and we can take this 2 here so this is going to be minus 2 root pi okay so we can use this in place of this so we can say equation 1 becomes what we wanted to find that is gamma of 
minus 3 upon 2 minus 3 upon 2 this is equals to gamma of minus half that is minus 2 root pi upon here we have minus 3 upon 2 negative negative gets cancelled we can take this 2 to the numerator this is going to be 4 upon 3 root pi and this is the final answer okay now coming to the third part which is very 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 important beta of 9 upon 2 comma 7 upon 2 last part that is beta of 9 upon 2 comma 7 upon 2 in beta function we read this we know that is beta of m comma n is equals to twice integration 0 to pi by 2 sin theta power 2 m minus 1 into cos theta power 2 n minus 1 d theta okay if you compare this and this you will get m equals to 9 upon 2 n equals to 7 upon 2 so we can write implies beta of 9 upon 2 comma 7 upon 2 can be written as twice integration the limit goes from 0 to pi by 2 okay if you put m equals to 9 upon 2 here 2 2 gets cancelled what is left here that is 9 minus 1 8 so we can write that is sin theta power 8 into cos if you put 7 upon 2 in place of n 2 2 gets cancelled what is left here 7 minus 1 that is 6 okay so here we can say cos theta power 6 then write d theta now we can solve this how yes in gamma function we write this that is integration 0 to pi by 2 sin theta power m into cos theta power n d theta is equals to gamma of m plus 1 upon 2 into gamma of n plus 1 upon 2 whole upon 2 times gamma of m plus n plus 2 upon 2 okay so we can use this formula here that is 2 okay now gamma of m plus 1 upon 2 what is m that is 8 so 8 plus 1 upon 2 again here we can write n that is 6 6 plus 1 that is 7 upon 2 okay here we can write 6 plus 1 upon 2 whole upon here we have 2 so simply write 2 gamma of m plus n plus 2 that is 8 plus 6 plus 2 8 plus 6 plus 2 upon 2 fine now 2 2 gets cancelled what is left here that is gamma of 9 upon 2 gamma of 7 upon 2 whole upon in the denominator we have 8 plus 6 that is 14 14 plus 2 16 16 upon 2 that is gamma of 8 okay fine now what is gamma of 9 upon 2 that is 7 upon 2 into 5 upon 2 into 3 upon 2 into 1 upon 2 into root pi what is gamma of 7 upon 2 that is 5 upon 2 into 3 upon 2 into 1 upon 2 into root pi fine in the denominator we have gamma of 8 okay here we need no we have we know that gamma of n is equals to factorial n minus 1 so gamma of 8 can be written as factorial 8 minus 1 that is 7 so in place of gamma of 8 we can write factorial 7 that means 7 into 6 into 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 okay here you can see 7 7 gets cancelled 5 5 gets cancelled 3 3 gets cancelled okay what is left in the numerator part let us write that first okay numerator 1 root pi 5 3 1 root pi so root pi into root pi that is pi here we have 5 into 3 that is 15 okay in the denominator part we have 1 2 that is 1 2 3 4 we have number of time 2 at the number of places 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 okay 4 means 2 into 2 that means 2 power 10 into 
here we are left with 6 ok so we can cancel with 3 here we have 5 and here we have 2 so again we can say we have 5 pi upon 2 power 10 into 2 that is 2 power 11 what is 2 power 11 that is 5 pi upon 2 power 11 means 2 0 4 8 and this is my final answer ok I hope that you have learned a lot from this video. Please hit the like button and do share this with your friends. Thank you. Thank you so much.